But what made Madden great was that he believed in the viewer. He believed that they were just as interested in learning about the 4-3 defense as they would be learning about Turducken and the Madden Cruiser. He was the ultimate football guy, and he is already sorely missed. Here now to honor the Hall of Famer is another member enshrined in Canton, Super Bowl champion and legendary New York Jets quarterback, Joe Namath. Thank you, sir, for joining me this evening. What did John Madden mean to the game from your perspective? Well, you covered a whole lot of uh, the good things, of course. And from my perspective, uh, I knew John, and I also knew several of the guys that he coached. We kind of crossed over there. I played uh, with the Jets against the Raiders when John was there. And uh, Kenny Stabler is a buddy, and he used to tell me stories about John, uh, Jim Otto, uh, these guys that played under uh, John, uh, loved him. I mean, he was a straight shooter. He was down to earth. He didn't hold back on things, but he treated these guys. He treated people the way he wanted people to be treated with respect. And when we're talking about the way he conveyed the, the football knowledge of his to the millions of fans out here, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And so... We, we've lost one, one of a kind, and my condolences certainly go out to his family. But, uh, uh, you know, there was a time when John uh, started this All Madden team, and we were sitting in a dressing room. And I was sitting right beside a guy that was so special as well, uh, Walter Payton. And I'm thinking, that, man, this guy is something, and John is something. Just where I was at that time, I, I was so thankful and, and so fortunate to be there. Uh, John just made us all feel so good, and we admired him a great deal. It strikes me that uh, just as you were so critical uh, as a part of this in the early days of, of the success of the NFL, John Madden was essential to the NFL becoming the dominant sport, the sport that has a day devoted to it, you know, the sport that really drives America in, in every respect in a way that football, pro football, had not been before. It, it really is amazing to think about how much of an impact he had on making the game America's game at the center of our lives. Uh, in, in terms of, of anything like him, do you think that we're ever going to see anyone have that kind of impact, to be able to go from the coaching experience to the, the popularizer of, of, of the game to the, someone who democratizes it, in a sense? Or was he just someone who is just one of a kind who can never be repeated? Well, I think it was someone that was one of a kind, no doubt about that. But as far as someone else stepping up, getting out there and winning the hearts and the admiration and the respect of people out there that admire the football sport. Uh, I hope someone else comes along like that. And, and also, you mentioned the NFL. It is the NFL. But John was in the AFL. We were in the AFL yes. to start out with, you see. And uh, there was the things weren't always polite, comfy, cozy, so to speak, between the two leagues. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was a nice, happy merger uh, uh, after uh, we had to prove ourselves and win a championship against them. Yeah, well, I mean, you say you say a nice, uh, happy uh, uh, merger, but you know what was what was it that Al Davis said about it? You know, he refused to go to the meeting because he, he said, "Remember Yalta." <laughs> oh, I mean, he was there beautiful. Were... <laughs> he was beautiful. He was terrific. Yes. What an yeah. honor he was. A smart man, and a New Yorker to start mm -hmm. with. You know, uh, Al was mm -hmm. Al was wonderful. You know, I grew up, as so many of us did, uh, listening to John Madden and thinking of him as being the definition of a broadcaster, you know, someone that could entertain even when the game wasn't entertaining. Uh, is there something, is there some aspect of his call or one call in particular, a game that he called that sticks out in your mind as being, uh, you know, an example of something you'll, you'll never forget that he said on the air? Oh, man, I did I... <laughs> I heard you with the things you said about uh, John initially there before I came on, and I got tickled, of course. He was a smart man, very intelligent man. 
but he knew how to convey his feelings to the people that he respected. Again, he respected people. He wanted them to enjoy what he was saying as well as teach them about the game. We saw him with that telestrator, the way he had handled it, would see him mess it up and do whatever, say things that were laughable, and we laughed along with him. We never laughed at him. He, he was sharp, and he was teaching us football. And uh, millions upon millions of people uh, today are saddened. He, he was, he was a great teacher, and thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joe, for joining me tonight.